Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zero Saga Episode 1. Last time we did some exploring, went to the beach, talked to the crazy professor guy. This time we're going to play a really stupid little game real quick and then we're going to go do more exploring. Uh, sorry about the fact that there's not a whole lot of plot development over this uh, next couple of episodes, but there's going to be a lot of stuff to do and this quiz game is really pointless for the most part. Name of the part shop on Doc Colony. It's called Talk to Me. Oh, there we go. Correct. This one. The eccentric professor at the Foundation Robot Academy. We met him last time. His name is not Vandercom. <laughs> professor. What kind of clothing is hanging second from the left on the wall at the cleaners, which we haven't been to yet? This one, you're not expected to know until you actually go there, but I'll tell you now, it's a smelly-looking purple t-shirt. You have, as far as I know, unlimited tries at this anyway, so you just keep doing it anyway. Who's fired up about the drill? Well, we've seen the name Swain, but I thought his name started with H. This one is kind of annoying because it's the only question where they actually have one guy's name off screen, and yes, his name is Holgar which is kind of an asshole move, because you just see H, it's like, oh yeah, it started with H, instead, don't really read it, and then you get it wrong. What's the name of the girl that can't speak in the uh, dock colony? Her name is Ludi. And for doing that, we win a luxurious item, the PM card C. Now, what that is, is it's a promotional card for the Xeno card minigame, and it just shows different scenes or different characters or whatever it is. You can get a whole bunch of them uh, as prizes for playing around at the casino. But, uh, what's this again? That's the launch pad. That'll take us back if we want to go back there. This one we... Can I go up there, please? Thank you. This one we can actually go into. I guess that's to illustrate that there's more than the small areas that we get to explore in this game. Anyway, this is Sector 26 and 27. Why they chose those numbers, I do not know. Hotel, there's one over there. It says Our Treasure. So yeah, there's a bunch of areas. Like, they don't just call them Bar or some other thing. Everything actually has a name, or at least a lot of things do. Bartender gets angry if you play with the crank. This one here? Let's turn the crank. That will be important way later in the game. Everything is so tacky. What about you? Bartender is actually a member of Director Guinan's fan club. Well, that's rather strange. Let's go into the Iron Man bar. I think later on in other games it gets renamed Iron Man 3? Or something like that. Anyway, there's a lot of people in here. Let's talk to some of them. Mm, you're not particularly interesting. Okay. There's a whole bunch of people to talk to around here. Some of them are more interesting than others. It's been a while since I talked to them, but I know there's some stuff over here that I'd like to get. Talk to you. Can't believe I lost the precious engagement ring that my fiance gave me. And as you can see, it's in blue, meaning we can actually get that item. Hmm. If I hadn't dropped it on the beach, it's only that fish hadn't taken the ring. Seriously, game? <laughs> yeah, at Professor Guinan's beach. What do you think of your performance? Well, I can't hear anything. Is that why there's no music here? Anyway, this is a cargo elevator. Operate it uh, with a switch, you can go to the second floor. Well, we can't do much with that yet. Later, though. He boasts about himself. Stop that noise. Alarms set all over the place. Anyway, most of the peop other people around here don't say a whole lot of interesting stuff. Uh, the characterization of the bartender changes from game to game, which is kind of stupid, but... Uh, Yeah, the uh, guy over here is flexing in front of the uh, cutouts. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Yeah, this guy is just kind of weird. Right. Iron Man 3. I guess it's a TV show in this world or something like that. There's a treasure chest back there that we don't have access to yet. Pop it behind there. Can we look at any of these? No, we cannot. So, there's an item over there. 
and there's also items in this elevator you can blow up some of that stuff or open the doors or maybe a little bit of both i don't know but there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do over there none of which we can do yet these guys talk about their, their truck not working this lady says something useful because someone like you touched and something terrible could happen trap to stop the enemy's skills. This type is especially effective against poison skills. What? Are they just giving us a little primer so that we know when we encounter this later? Or? Anyway. Hurry up and move out of the way. Should I? I, re I really want to. <laughs> now you've done it. I warned you not to touch it, but it's strange. I feel really happy. Um, what kind of drugs were in that? <laughs> As a love child. Yeah, they're talking about Junior, and apparently he's also a cyborg, because why the hell not? Some say he's a kid, some say he's a cyborg. Whatever. As you can see, Alan wasn't the only one to hear about uh, some rumors about Junior. Hotel isn't very popular. It can't be helped that most tourists go to the other side of the city, which we don't get to see. We get to see the rundown sectors, which is basically what they are. Um, over here, and most of these people say nothing interesting. Go over here and talk to this. And this guy gets mad, saying the contents inside are important to him and his wife, so you guys can't touch it. We also can't get the code since it's a combination lock until later anyway, and you can't go up there because they don't want you to right now. Later, again later, that's the hotel we need to stay at uh, to advance the plot at some point. Until then, we talk to this guy. Not scrounging for trash, I'm recycling! I'm working! I don't want to work. I want to play video games all day, it's more fun. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to happen as often as I'd like. Acquaintance of a classmate who lived next door to the second cousin of Director Guinan who built this town, so basically, it's a statue of someone who has nothing to do with this town. Okay then. Why? <laughs> this game has a lot of random shit in it that just, like, why? It makes no sense. Anyway, this is King's Hideout. Full of thugs, it's also called East Number 6. Let's head in here and talk to some people. Again, most of the people don't say a lot useful, but better hurry out of here if you know what's good for you. What about you? Absolutely loves cats. He loves cats so much, he'd easily give up uh, the life of one of his underlings for a cat. Yeah, I think you're real patient to put up with that kind of crap. Let's talk to this guy real quick here. Best way to kill time, junk is prod to the warehouse from colonies all over the place. Lots of stuff can be used with a bit of fixing. Can you fix this? Hey, an escape pack. <laughs> I think this guy is high off his uh, tree right now. If you approach and talk to King here, who is ambiguous as far as gender going goes as far as I'm concerned, um... <laughs> And we get to see the Great King. Perfect timing. If you can keep uh, that calm look on your face after you've seen my power. And you punch through a punching bag and it sounded like not a punching bag when it blew up. Cat got your tongue? Meow. Hey, look, it's a kitty. Very kind of odd looking kitty, but okay. Francois? Okay. And he or she, well, King goes from being all buff and powerful to prancing after the kitty. Oh god. Why are some of these characters in this game? Let's talk to you. Um, he scared me more when he talks to cats than uh, when he doesn't, when he's trying to scare me. Anyway, let's blow up this one. Get an item. Let's blow up this one. Don't blow up this one. Talk to this one. Can I talk to him? There we go. Talking to me. Who wouldn't have to be Tom's friend? If you remember, Tom was the kid in Doc Colony way back who said there was a pink uh, bug or a blow-up doll or phone call or whatever. 
so yeah, anyway, this is that bug thing, whatever. And if you don't blow it up and talk to it, you learn some important information. As a token of our friendship, I'll tell you something interesting. What kind of story would you like to hear? Well, this one says that the bartender on the Elta will give you the passport to the, for the card game, which we already know. And he takes your picture. When the photo's ready, I'll send it to you. Say hi to Tom for me. But if you talk to him again, you can actually learn about the other stories. They all just say interesting, pretty interesting, really interesting, etc. Yeah, we, we kind of figured that out already. And a good story here. Specific enemies have segment address keys too. Specifically bosses, but... Um, and... Great story. So this is the last one. In the Durandal's observation room in the park, not the observation room, the park, there is a segment key on the ground shaded by a potted tree. You'll need to look very carefully for it. It sparkles now. That's the one I was mentioning before. Now, don't blow that one up even though you can. Talk to this guy. There's no switch behind me. Do not concern yourself with unnecessary things. Go away. Let's see here. Kind of, if I could move the camera, I'd focus on it. It kind of looks like they're on a, uh, a line there. And can't really see through it. They did a pretty good job with the, uh, with that there. There's sometimes there's somebody else up here too. Oh, here he is. No place for tourists. Anyway, let's go take a look at some more stuff around here. What do you have to say? And what's that? Foundation can move. Good for it. All right, let's go over here and we'll pop down here real quick. And we'll press this button, which will drop the ladder all the way down so that we don't have to deal with that. that I don't remember if that's specifically important or not, but you definitely want to do that at some point. So might as well just do it now. You. There's a treasure box on the roof, but how to get it? I've lived in this town for years, but I still haven't been able to get to the roof of the building. Wonder who put it up there? Well, again, that will happen later. There's a lot of things in this town that uh, we can't do right away. Blow that up. This gives you the opportunity to look over here. And again, that serves no purpose. Again, yet. <laughs> uh, he's not particularly interesting. Nothing in here is particularly interesting. So let's just keep moving. And over here, we can just get through this area. There's nobody over there, is there? No. And this takes us to the other side of that building that we were looking at, as you can see. Yeah, that's the other side over there. There's a couple of rooms over here. You would think these two would meet up, but they don't. So, go figure. This one leads to you. Hmm. Oh, game. I did not do that. My controller's acting finicky. <laughs> Might have to upgrade to a different uh, Bluetooth dongle. This one's having grief. Now, I think there's something in here, though. I don't remember what. What do you have to say? Okay, so they have the tidy person, and then in the other room they have the messy person. Joy! And... Yeah, this was just where we already were, just down below. There we go. Now, going this way, we'll cut around here and take us back to where we were before. Just so you kind of know where everything is in this town. There's a lot to do here, so. And we will be exploring it multiple times. So, now let's go in this one. Let's see here, what do we got? Ah, Tuxedo, we heard about that. If you recall, there's something in the pocket. Take it out. The fish detector. Yes, we actually do get that item. And it is useful for getting another item. Uh, if you go up this one, there's something in the dryer. Let's take that too. Uh, PM, another promotional card. It doesn't matter. Just a part-timer. Family sure does love art. Wow, apparently this family's got a lot of issues. Now, if you go down here, at this point, we don't have access to that set of stairs. 
but later on, we will. What do you have to say? Okay then. Such a troublemaker, huh? Okay. Well, if you head out uh, down to the south there behind me, that just leads to uh, the way out of this particular part of the area. Okay. Shut up! I don't care about you wanting to join the military or your cleaning your family, because it has no bearing on pretty much anything right now. Some money, some ether upgrades, segment address 3, which we don't have access to at the moment. Uh, up here, uh, that's where we, that's not where we came in, okay. So there's multiple sets of stairs in here, and it can be confusing. Was there anything on the shelf at the moment? No, there's not. Okay, so up here, there's this door. I'm just double-checking for things, because there's things hidden all over the place in the city. Takes you over here, and this will get us back to King's Warehouse. Eventually. There we go. Again, my controller is giving me grief. <laughs> Walking past things I don't want to walk past. Anyway, let's turn on the fast forward there. That'll save some time. And we'll explore the street level now. Uh, what do you have to say? Anything interesting? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. You? One of the best. Cute girl in the front draws the customers. Never shows himself. Very few people who ever seen the baker. Hmm. Yeah, my controller is giving me grief here. Gonna have to uh, take a look at that. Okay. And you. Here's Johnny. If you're around, Mina will see me. Hurry up and get lost. So he's kind of creeping on her. Because she's so cute, I guess. Yeah. One of King's men, his name is Johnny. He thinks he's King's right-hand man. wonder if that's really true. He seems to have a crush on the baker's daughter, but having to look at the pathetic display every day will make that love fade quickly. So there's a way out over there, but you don't want to take that one yet. Here is another guy there. And again, most of these people don't say a whole lot of interesting. I'm just going to scan through the dialogue somewhat quickly. Can I get by? Thank you. Now, we can't lower those the uh, bridge there for the moment. And we've been in here yet? I think, yeah, we have. This just leads to that one, yeah. It's hard to remember if I've shown off every single door yet. Now we go this way. Now, if you head directly to the left over there, uh, you can actually get out of here that way. But we don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, not this time, anyway. Because if you talk to that little bug thing, um, you get the picture of yourself here. And if you notice, there's a ghost in the left corner, which kind of looks like Alan. Anyway, that's a pointless email. Every other time you're over there, you'll want to exit on the other side. Now that we've done that, no, it's not the one I want to go to. We want to go over here to the private beach. Now that we have the fish detector and we've heard about the engagement ring, we can use our fish detector. Let's go catch some fish. Turn off fast forward too. Now they allow us to go in the water. Nope, no, that's not the button I wanted to press. Now, I think... Yeah, see there's little fish scooting around here? You caught a small fish. You get a med kit. They're kind of hard to see sometimes. And if they get too shallow, they disappear. Uh, but you're looking for a larger fish around here. And if you can get that larger fish, it will have that engagement ring. Some of these have nothing. Some of them have... Um, some useful items. Got a small fish and a speed stim. That's the more important of the two items I think that we can get. I'm not sure if you can get more than one, 
but uh, it'd be nice if that larger fish would show up so that I could, uh, you know, call this an episode. Ah, there it is. Got a big fish. Obtain the engagement ring. There we go. And now that we've collected that, throw fast forward back on and get out of here. That's pretty much all we ever need to do at the beach here, unfortunately. Let's enter here. And we'll give her back her engagement ring. Oddly enough, this is a running gag. We'll see this uh, again in uh, subsequent games. Uh, there we go. We found it. Please take it. We get decoder number eight. And I believe that's pretty much all we can do here for the moment. So unless I find something in between this episode and the next, we will be going and spending a nice relaxing night at the R Treasure Inn over here, or hotel, or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.